share with you my cute little 4x6 mini album. I created this album for St. Patrick's Day. I know not everyone celebrates St. Patrick's Day or takes pictures on St. Patrick's Day, but some people do. You know, you have parties or birthdays or, you know, just some people like to take pictures of their children or babies on all holidays. So I thought this album would be super cute for your St. Patrick's Day photos. So here on the front, you have some green flowers. These are just some paper flowers. And these actually came from Michael's, and I've had them in my stash for a while, so I'm not sure if they still carry them or not. They're from Recollections. And this um, green vine here, this is a dye that I had in my stash. And then I added some little gold um, pearl blings, bling dots here, as well as around the corners. And then these little clear pieces here, these are just little clear rocks. And here on the side, I left it blank. And here on the back, I left it blank as well. And for the closure, I used just some white seam binding and tied some green hoops here on the ends of them. So it opens up. So here on the front page, you just have a, a plain space here. You can put a photo or you can journal here. And then here you have space for a photo. And then you have pull-out mats in each of your pages. So you can add a photo to one side, journal on the other. Or you could add a photo to both sides, whatever you want to do. Okay, and then I made all of my pages mirror each other. So here you have two little tuck spots. So you have space here for a photo. And then you have a little booklet. And I left the booklets plain, you know, in case you wanted to journal on, you know, your day's activities or add photos you know whatever you wanted to do and then here on this side same as this one you have space here for a photo then you have your booklet okay and then you have another pull out plain on the back as well and then here you have space for two photos then you have another pull out And then here you have two belly bands. So you have two photo mats. I left them plain on the back. And on this side you have two more photo mats. Plain on the back. Here you have another pull out. Okay. And then you have two pockets. So you have space here for a photo. And then you can add your photos here. Here again, photo here and here. And you have another pull out. And then here, what I've done, sorry for the glare, is I have pull out tags and I just tied some seam binding on the end here. And so you see here, I have acetate in these pockets. You just tuck it right back in. And this one is the same. Have your photo tag. Just tucks right back in. And then you have another pull out mat. Okay, and then here on the back, I've done the same as the front. You have space here for a small photo, and then space here for a photo or journaling. Um, I thought this album turned out super, super cute. And it is super easy to make, super simple. Um, it took no time at all to create this album. And I will have a tutorial for this album. And as soon as it is loaded and ready, I will have it linked in the description bar below. But you can see here, you have plenty of space to add photos. Um, the spacing is quarter of an inch. But like I said, it is, you know, you can undo this. And you see here, you have plenty of space for photos. So your pictures will not be, you know, tight in the album. They'll fill it up and the album will be just perfect. And I've done this album mainly for beginners. Um, I know sometimes when you want to make an album, but, you know, you kind of look at all of these tutorials and they kind of get overwhelming. So I made this album super easy, super cute, um, mainly for beginners. So, 
if you have any questions about this album please let me know this is the paper pad that i used all seasons three from paper studio and i got this from hobby lobby and these are the papers that i used it came with three each but i only used six because i have three sheets left so this is also a great way to use some um 12 by 12s that you have left over from other projects I know, you know, making small albums like this, you always have paper left over. So, you know, you can make more albums, you know, with just a few sheets of paper. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you all have a great day. Make sure that you like, leave me a comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.